question? Ms. Butler. Gentlewoman from Washington is recognized for two minutes. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. <clears throat> Um, you know, the rising cost of gas is quickly becoming the hottest topic <laughs> in any meeting. And especially in my hometown uh, and in my neck of the woods in southwest Washington state, I hosted a job creators forum about a week and a half ago, small job creators. And one of the biggest issues I heard about was the rising cost of gas prices. I have a uh, pizza delivery operation. Well, they make pizzas and deliver them. And you can all imagine what, what rising gas prices does to a small business like this. They've had to let people go over the past, and they're starting to hire people again. And he's, it, one of his requests was make this affordable. And one of the ways we can do that is by supporting this bill, because we open up the opportunity to get more, to 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 get more domestic energy. And that's the reality. You know, I, I can't wait for the day when our country no longer is dependent on fossil fuels, when we don't need a gasoline or we don't need to get it from countries that don't like us. I can't wait for that day. And I support uh, those energy ex exploration of, of alternative energies. But the problem is we're not there yet. We are not there today. And the reality is every time gas goes up, we lose jobs. And in my neck of the woods, where we have double-digit unemployment, 14%, 13 14% in some areas going on three years, it is unacceptable that co this Congress would sit on its hands and do nothing while the price of gas goes up. If we explore for energy here domestically and we do it now, we're going to bring relief today to those small business owners in our region. They're going to be able to hire more people. So as we all go back to our districts next week, we know we're going to hear from moms and dads. We're going to hear from business owners about the high cost of gas. I invite uh, my Democratic colleagues to join with us. Let's look our constituents in the eye and say we supported legislation that will lower energy prices today to meet their needs. Thank you, and I yield back. Gentlewoman from Washington yields back. The